Hello, my name is Dark Wolfheart, and uh, Happy New Year, everybody. Hope you had a fantastic night last night. And uh, for my first video of the year, I'm finally going to do my GameCube selection. So, this is my old trusty GameCube. Uh, some stickers on, Naruto, Wave Race, and stuff like that. Uh, <clears throat> so, let's just jump right into this. So, the first one we're going to look at. It's Mario Golf, so you all know what Mario is. You all know what golf is. There you go. You got Mario Golf, one of his many sports titles. I must say, he does get out about at the house. Um, so these next few games we're going to look at are all sports games. So we've got Wave Race, Blue Storm. So if you don't know, uh, this is one of the best games on the GameCube. Uh, as you just uh, run around on a jet ski. Uh, the graphics are lovely, especially the water effects. They look fantastic in the day. I don't know if that... Get the focus. No, for not, but that's way for Next up, Nintendo's answer to SSX, sort of. Uh, 1080 Avalanche. Uh, so this is a sequel to the N64 version. No warning game. Good game. Dave Mirrors, a freestyle of BMX. Uh, so this is obviously a, the sequel to the first one. Um, very good game. Plays like sort of a Tony Hawk style games. Uh, got no complaint apart from the third one. The third one is utter trash. BMX Triple X. Um, which Dave Mirror took his name off. And then the rest has been line. So now we've got some rollerblading. Um, plays very much, funnily enough, like the Tony Hawk series. Uh, but with rollerblades this time. Uh, had fun on it, I remember. Uh, so. Can't complain. And then we got freestyle. So MTX stuff where you just did big over the tr uh, over the top uh, tricks and all that. Very fun game as well. And then a wrestling game. WW, Day of Reckoning. Uh, yeah, wrestling game. I can't really say much more about these games, but they are good nonetheless. Then a very good BMX game. Matt Hoffman's Pro BMX 2. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, yeah, more Tony Hawk doing. But on a BMX at the point. Carry my part. Get that shot. So, yeah. Very cool game. Speaking of Tony Hawks, so we have Tony Hawks 3 there, uh, one of my more favourite games of the Tony Hawk series, and then Tony Hawks Pro Skater 4. Also, pretty much all the same. So if you know Tony Hawks, you know Tony Hawks, and then Kelly Slater's Pro Server. So yeah, serving game. To be honest, it wasn't that great. Uh, yeah, it had all the Tony Hawk's controls and all that. Uh, except all you did was ride a wave. So... Yeah, it was fine. Dead. Going back to a classic character. Sonic Hero. So, yet again, they came up with another idea to change Sonic. Uh, whereas you play with the three characters, so you were in sets of teams. So you had like Sonic, Tails, and Knuckles, uh, Big the Cat, Rogue, and was it Shadow as well? Yeah, that was another team. Then Robotnik was on a team as well. Oh, there we are. Okay. It was, oh, it was Amy and that bunny one. No, I forget who the bunny is. And they don't use her anymore. They seem to have got rid of her. Uh,. Yeah, Sonic game. Oh. One of the better ones to play. And then, custom Robo. You played in little battle arenas as a robot and you could customize your mech. Extremely fun game to play. Um, if I remember rightly, it didn't actually come out over here. Yeah, I think this one did come out over here. I'm starting to think that I had to get an American import. Very fun game. I wish they made more of these. I know it came out on the DS, I believe. One game came out on DS. A very good little mech battler. 
and then Super Mario Sunshine, which sort of divided the players back in the day um, with his jetpack and all that. Uh, but it's a fun game. I've gone. There's nothing wrong with it. It's not the best one. Galaxy 2, I would say, is the best one. Uh, Mario Sunshine runs about in the middle of the whole whole of the game, so enjoyable platformer. Go and buy. And then for a great horror, if you've never played this, try and play Eternal Darkness. Had some great ideas in the game, um, but sadly there was supposed to be a sequel, but that got canned. Uh, but if you haven't played this horror, go and play it. It does mess with your mind a bit. Give an out fair warning there. Mario Party 4. Yeah, more Mario. It's a party. You go on a war game. You play uh, games with friends and all that. And you can backstab them into some point, sir. Yeah, Mario Party nowadays isn't what it used to be. I still think Mario Party 2 is the best Mario Party in my opinion. But, oh well. And then coming from the Dreamcast, we have uh, Sonic DX, or Sonic Adventure DX, Director's Cut, sorry. Uh, the first true 3D adventure for Sonic. <laughs> not count, I'm not counting Sonic Racers at all, Sonic R. Uh, but his first true 3D adventure. Uh, fun game, I enjoy it. And then one of the greatest racers on uh, the platform, S-Zero GX. So, this is obviously a sequel to the earlier games. Uh, so, GX means the GameCube version, and there was an AX version, which was the arcade release. Uh, so, if you like high... Um, you can sort of think about, if you never played this, maybe like Wipeout sort of style. Uh, you got Fast Tracks, Zero G, and stuff like that. Speaking of Zero G, that was a good game as well. But you played uh, where you drove motorbikes. Then we got Star Fox Assault, probably one of the worst Star Fox games out there. Uh, I think they tried to remake the N64 one, but it just did not quite work on this game, uh, from what I remember. I had a bit of fun in the multiplayer, but... Just there, fine. Then one of the greatest fighters of all time, Super Smash Bros. Melee. Or Melee, if you want to. Uh, yeah. Uh, characters from Nintendo battling out. Everybody knows what Smash Brothers is. And then the sequel to the one I showed off in the PlayStation 2, I think. Digimon Rumble Arena 2. So, like Smash Brothers, but you played with Digimon. And if you bought this game, you could get a controller for $6.99, which I didn't. And then, a game which was supposed to come out on the N64 but then was remade to be a GameCube game, uh, which was supposed to be, it originally was supposed to be Dinosaur Planet, but game Star Fox Adventures. I enjoyed this, this good uh, action, action sort of game. Uh, you don't fly around as much, but you go on the ground with Fox McCloud. Combat's fine and everything, so if you haven't played it, I recommend going out and getting it. You know, Call of Duty is fine as our, um, yeah, Call of Duty. Everybody knows what Call of Duty is. Then, <clears throat> Mega Man Network Transmission. So this is sort of a sequel to the Game Boy Advance games. What is it? Battle Network. Uh, but, I'll see. This one's made for the GameCube. Um, it's fine. Nothing too spectacular. If you want to play uh, Mega Man, go and play the classic ones. Uh, a racer I have talked about before. I do have a couple of these. This is Burnout 2 Point of Impact. Um, it's a brilliant game. Uh, when it came out, it was fantastic. They built so much from the first game. It was definitely a game to play back in the day. But if you want to play these now, go and play out Burnout Paradise, I would recommend. Which was the latest one, and that was it. Which is a really good game, but I wish they still made these. It's a little sad. And then if you want some more horror, Luigi's Mansion. Uh, you play as Luigi, and he wins a mansion, and you got to go and suck out all the ghosts with the uh, ghost busting pack. There's two sequels to this game. Um, if you don't have a GameCube, uh, Luigi Mansion Freeze on the Switch. I recommend going to play that. It's a good game. Then for you who like MMORPGs of a type, uh, Fantasy Star Online Episode 1 and 2. Although you can play the single player. Um, 
it's fantasy style basically you choose your character you go around levels you upgrade you move on it was a fun game if you got mates you could do split screen so it was all good and one of the best games of uh, the GameCube to life Lord of the Rings The Two Towers this is probably one of the best Lord of the Rings game um, it's just an action RPG and you go around and you can play as Aragorn, Legolas or Gimli I really do need to go back it's been a while since I played this game I really need to go and uh, play this again and then Metroid Prime uh, the first first person shooter of the Metroid Prime series uh, very good first person shooter to be honest if you haven't played it go and play this one as well most of these games I'm showing are recommended and then one of the best fighting games of all time Soul Calibur 2 and this is the best version of Soul Calibur 2 because you can play as Link from the Legend of Zelda who's this character here in the Xbox version you played as Spawn and then the PlayStation 2 version you played as the old guy from Tekken hey hey ain't she Something like that. Uh, I can't remember this is the better version anyway so if you haven't played this is definitely worth recommending to get it Ah, I think this was the, uh, America. Great. Animal Crossing. If you don't know Animal Crossing, it's, uh, you're a villager. You go to this place, you build a house. Uh, you owe lots of money to Tom Nuke. who puts you into financial debt, and you've got to work it off. It's the closest thing to real life you can get. And then Sonic Mega Collection, so just a collection of his classic games. So Sonic the Hedgehog, Sonic 2, Sonic 3, uh, Sonic and Knuckles, Sonic 3D, Sonic Spinball, and Dr. Robotnik's Mean Bean Machine. All good games, Sonic 3D is a bit iffy, Sonic Spinball's fine, and Dr. Robotnik's um, basically Pewee Pewee Pewee? Pewee 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 Pewee? Or whatever that um, hustle game is, so... Uh, yeah, Sonic games. You usually can't go too wrong with them. <laughs> and then next up, Smuggler's Run, uh, Warzone, a long gotten game, I think, uh, now. Um, where you, it was an open world where you drove a car and there wasn't much more. You did some missions. Uh, that was about it, really. There is a multiplayer, the multiplayer must be best part. We spent hours glitching through buildings and stuff. Uh, and then ramping off other stuff and doing stuff. Can't remember much. Right. So, um, this character has been around for a while. It's Bomberman. So, if you don't know Bomberman, basically you're this little guy. And you go around laying bombs. And this is uh, one of the better games. I generated this was a time when he started getting stories for some reason. But the best part of uh, Bomberman games is the multiplayer aspect. Uh, where you just go around uh, trying to kill other players. Really good fun. And then the best RPG, well, the best RPG to come out on the GameCube. Some may say Skies of Arcadia, but I've never played Skies of Arcadia, and I'm not buying it because it costs about £100 to buy today. Uh, but there's Tales of Thonia. Uh, this is getting a remastered and re released next year. Or should I say this year, because it's the new year today. Uh, yeah, of course, because I'm not filming this a day before or two. Um, Tales of Phonia, highly recommend. One of the greatest Tales of games there is. Do not play the sequel. The sequel sucks. Sadly. And then straight on to one of the best first person shooters. We have Time Splitter Future Perfect. Uh, this is, is it the last Time Splitter of the franchise before it just disappeared. Thank you, EA, for destroying yet another great games company. Um,. Yeah, Time Splitters, you went to the past, future and stuff. Uh, good handling of the guns and all that. Very fun multiplayer. If you've never played Time Splitters, go and play them. Highly recommend. And then one of the best fighters out on the uh, GameCube. Uh, other than uh, Soul Calibur 2. Capcom vs SNK 2 EO. So basically you got Captain characters and SNK characters. I don't know too much about SNK characters. But I know my Capcom characters like Ryu and stuff like that's in there a very good crossover 
And then capturing monkeys or put into a ball and you're made to roll them around the level so they can collect bananas and get to the end. Great classic game. There's a few sequels of this out now. You can pick it up on the newer consoles. I do recommend playing if you've never played it. I think they did a remaster of this as well. Pretty sure. I'm from the top of me head. They're coming up to some box versions. We have uh, Final Fantasy Crystal Chronicles. So this was the first one of the Crystal Chronicles. Um, very good game. So basically, you could play with another per uh, four people. So you play with your Game Boys. You hook your Game Boys up to the um, GameCube. And uh, you went around with them. Very simple game. Had great enjoyment with it. There you are, as you see the bottom left here, all hooked up, so you can play the game with those. Very good game. Speaking of connectivities with the GBA, we have the Four Swords version of uh, the Game Boy one, uh, with a bit more added to it. This is a fantastic multiplayer game, especially if you hook up with your Game Boys. Uh, highly recommend. You're not getting enough of the Souders. Thank you. Uh, from a galaxy far, far away. So we have uh, Star Wars Jedi Outcast, which is basically a first-person shooter. Uh, one of the best ones is Jedi Knight 2. Uh, most will say it is the best first-person shooter of uh, Star Wars games, I believe. Uh, and then, of course, we have Rogue Leader uh, Rogue Squadron 2, which is the flight sort of... No, I say flight sim. So you can could, you could pilot ships and go out shooting. Very good. Excellent game. And then they came out with uh, Rogue Squadron 3, uh, which, yet yeah, again, they built on the first one. Uh, very good. You get to fly different types of vehicles uh, and shoot Star Wars stuff. Very fun set of games. Now, this one... It's the Game Boy player. So... On the bottom of the Game Boy here is the GBA player. You just slotted in your Game Boy Advance games and you can play them on the GameCube, much like you could for the SNES with the Game Boy player. Um, if you actually ever want to buy one of these now, they will set you back about £200 uh, for this little thing. I don't think it co I definitely don't think it costs that much. I don't think it, I think it cost around about 50 quid when it came out. But yeah, if you want to the whole set of this that's about 250 pounds there speaking of expensive games though for some reason gotcha force is an expensive game so it's a bit like um the mech game i showed you earlier where you're where they've got little toys and you customize and everything um obviously i bought this for 15 pounds back in the day but if you want this game this will set you between 200 to 300 pounds to buy nowadays as far as i know um, for some reason, it's a rare game to get hold of. I've no idea. No, it's a fun game. Don't get me wrong. Um, I think I prefer the other one. I just can't remember what the name is. The other one I showed off earlier. Thank you, memory. Oh, I'm going to fall over any second now. Yeah. Right. Can't be a Nintendo console without these classic set of games. Pokemon! So this one, they went 3D. They tried to do an RPG 3D. Um, did it work? Not particularly. Was it fun? Sort of. Uh, it's fine. You played this guy here. You had to go around collecting dark Pokemon. Uh, you had to steal them from other trainers. So when you were in a battle and they got low enough, you would throw a Pokeball into the battle and steal their Pokemon. Uh, and then you had to go and heal them. Uh, I think there was only about 60 Pokemon you could collect. I can't remember. Hopefully off the top of my head. Uh, but obviously it did well enough because a sequel came out. Pokemon Gale of Darkness. Uh, which is exactly the same. You go around doing other stuff with a new character. Fine. Nothing to uh, go shouting out around about. Uh, a couple of classics as well, because you can't have the uh, Nintendo without this series on it either. So we got The Legend of Zelda, The Wind Waker, and this is the limited edition with the two game bonuses. So if we open it up, obviously the Zelda. And on this one, you got uh, Ocarina of Time, and you got Majora's Mask as well. No, you haven't. You got um, Master Quest. Sorry. Um, so Master Quest was the harder version. 
of Zelda Ocarina of Time. I'm very happy to have this in my collection. And my camera's just going everywhere because I didn't do it right. There we go. Seven dollar. <coughs> and then uh, you got Zelda's Collector's Edition here, which is a promotional disc including four classic games. If you do like Zelda, you can pick this up for around about 50 quid. And there we go. Billionaire, thankfully. So on this one, you have The Legend of Zelda, Zelda 2, Ocarina of Time, and Majora's Mask. And includes a playable demo of Wind Waker. So yeah, if you wanted some classic Zelda games on the GameCube, those two are about the only way you can do it. Unless you emulate for me. Then last but not least, uh, my favourite horror series of all time, of course. Uh, I've mentioned that before. Move that back a bit. Move. So yeah, Resident Evil Zero, uh, a prequel, obviously, to Resident Evil 1, uh, where you played as, oh, I wish I didn't say because I can't think of a name off the top of my head, the medic, you know what I mean. Uh, where's the name? That's going to annoy me now. Oh, it's not even on the back of the... Two play... Oh, what's her name? Oh, God damn it. I can remember in Resident Evil 2, if you click um, Albert Wesker's death 50 times, you get a picture of a... I can't remember her name. And you also play as Billy... somebody as well. A uh, criminal sort of thing. But yeah, it leads up to the events of Resident Evil 1. Speaking of which, the remake, Resident Evil. Fantastic game. Brilliant. If you haven't played it yet, go out and buy it. Uh, you can pick it up really cheaply nowadays. Uh, this is one of the best remakes ever. And then a classic, Resident Evil 2, so that follows on, Resident Evil 3, Code Veronica X, and then, of course, the best game, the best Resident Evil to come out, Resident Evil 4. So yeah, that's my uh, Resident Evil collection on the GameCube, um, and I do have, for the PS2, I have the limited edition chainsaw controller. But it's up in an attic somewhere, and I haven't got it with me. Maybe one day I'll shut off. I don't know. But for now, that is my collection of GameCube games. Hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, like and subscribe, you know, all that. And uh, hope your new year goes well and everything. I'll see you later. Goodbye.